PRV and the track view. So PRV stands for Piano Roll View. And because a big section of what this program does is MIDI, it becomes integral to have a lot of ways to access the MIDI data and to edit it and to really integrate it into whatever else we're doing in terms of audio, etc. One of the ways to do that is use the PRV mode, which is embedded inside of our track. This is the little button that does that. This switches it to the piano roll so that even if we had an audio track, we could do complex MIDI data editing right here. And we have a number of tools which allow us to do that. Now to keep in mind that even though we can do this on a track, we can also come here to the views and go piano roll and open up a whole page just designated to work in this area. And this will have some additional tools which we're going to explore because I think it's important we look at both of these. Let's start by looking at this view here though because it's a, one of the easiest places to work and then you can go to the other view for some more complex stuff. So we have the piano on the side here so you can see what note you're working with. We also have the microscope view here which allows us to zoom in on the notes. However, this goes in conjunction with how zoomed in we already are. And you can go to this piano where you see how it switches to the arrow pointing up and down. If I pull down, that zooms out quite a bit. And then I have this little microscope view, which allows me to zoom in. And then when I go off, you can see it goes back to the normal way. So this is definitely a very cool tool when you're zoomed out. When you get zoomed back in, of course, it goes away because you don't need to be zoomed in even further than that. And I think this really starts to work not too far out, so it gives you a nice little extra touch. You can turn it off here. So that's one thing you should know about in this view is that really nice tool there. We also have a number of different tools here. And so we can come into these tools here, starting with this one, the PRV Select tool. Make selections. The PRV Pencil tool or the Draw tool and then the erase tool. Now I typically will use the PRV draw tool the most if I'm here because what I can do is hold down alt on the keyboard and it switches over to the other tool. So I can make a selection and then move them around if I need to. Or I can hit delete to delete them instead of using the eraser tool. So I typically live in this tool and just use the alt key to get me around. Now we can also, let's draw a couple more notes in here. Right? We can also use some of these other views. And this is one that's going to be interesting. It allows us to select the controller data along with the notes when we just click on a note. Here we have the show hide notes. We can hide the notes if we want to. But this will show us the continuous control data such as velocity in this case, or pitch bend if we were using that, or any other one of those different continuous controllers. That's very handy. We can also show hide velocity tails, which we don't have any here, so that's not an issue. And it really will only apply to certain situations when you're working in some advanced MIDI. And then we have some other tools which really apply to the rest of the tracks, and we're not going to worry about those right now. So, to finish up, let's continue working in this area just for one second, because I do think it becomes important when we're working with these different controllers. Say we have velocity here, and we want to change that. Um, one of the easiest ways to do that is not through the pencil tool because the pencil tool is just going to draw more notes. Let's turn off the notes for a second though. You'll see that even if I draw in there, the notes come right back on. So this is not going to be really the best place to do a lot of data editing in terms of the continuous controllers. Primarily, you're going to be able to look at things and that's going to be the most important thing. Now we can do some other stuff in terms of working in the main piano roll view window. And so when you get past the point of just drawing in basic notes, etc., that's the place where I recommend to go. So let's move on to there at this point.